Hello Redwoods Presbyterian, greetings from your Presbytery Council. We're glad that you are here. Um, we've been through so much change in the past couple of years. There was the pandemic and right as that was hitting, um, Bob Conover was retiring as our mission presbyter. And so the Presbytery Council was left with this question of uh, where are we heading with regards to leadership? And so we hired an outside consultant, the Reverend Deborah Wright, a PCUSA minister. We hired her to help us discern some options for moving forward. Because some of our takeaways from that report, some of the things we learned were not just around staffing. Um, and so we've been asked to share a few things that are takeaways for us and also asked to share briefly what it means for us to be nimble uh, as a Presbyterian. Hi, I'm Joanne Witt. In my opinion, the top three things folks in the Presbytery need to know about the new matrix report are number one, uh, both Ariel and Eric are willing to stick with us and work together. And for me, that is a huge comfort and a relief. I am so grateful to both of them. Two, uh, we, the church, are in a time of adaptive change. We already know that being Christ's church in Northern California is challenging uh, and that the days of Christendom are behind us. But the pandemic is going to have impacts that we don't yet know and that we can't predict. Uh, the word Deborah Wright used again and again is nimble. Uh, Post-pandemic, being nimble is more important than ever before. As Deborah put it, a five-year plan is pointless. Three. We all got used to what Deborah calls staff-centered leadership. We could just ask Bob. Deborah says now we need to experiment with something that puts counsel at the hub of a leadership circle and take this opportunity to seek out voices that may have been sidelined because of our staff-centered culture. We don't know what that looks like yet. Uh, it will indeed take some experimenting. What does nimble mean to me? Nimble means we'll have to try things and some of them will work and some won't. When something doesn't work, uh, we'll need to offer each other grace. And when something does work, it may work only for a while and then we'll need to try something else. We're in uncharted territory. So nimble really means that we're on an adventure together. And while I'm trusting that the Church of Jesus Christ will survive. I suspect it may look very different from what we learned in seminary. Hello, this is Paul Slike you, a new member to the Presbytery Council, but not new to Presbytery. Glad to be talking with you and sharing my thoughts on the report from Deborah Wright about our staffing and other needs as a Presbytery. In reading her report, a couple of things struck me. First, I'm delighted that this working relationship between Ariel and Eric is working well, and that the two of them seem to be serving our needs at present and look like they'll be serving our needs going forward, and that's exciting. Second, I'm really intrigued at the idea that maybe now is the time to consider having a more virtual office as opposed to a physical office for our presbytery. We've been living in this virtual world for a while now, and we found some of the benefits from that, and that may be an interesting model for us going forward. But frankly, the thing from her report that caught my attention the most was her notion of our need to be nimble. And by nimble, what that says to me is, we're not going to worry about five-year strategic plans at this time. We may never worry about five-year strategic plans ever again. Instead, being nimble means paying attention, being responsive. And luckily, I think nimbleness does not mean being reactive, but it does mean being flexible and adaptive as things continue to change in our ever-changing world. I hope you'll be excited about our direction and how we go forward as a Presbytery. This is such an exciting time and, and we want to invite you to be part of addressing our adaptive changes as a Presbytery, our experiments, our discoveries. We need your imagination 
We need your energy. Let's see where God leads us together. Okay, wait, I forgot the best part. There's Morgan, there's Caitlin. They think this is really funny. If Ariel and Eric agree to be nimble, then they also have to agree to be quick and to jump over not just one, but all of the candlesticks in the bounds of the presbytery. Now this is where you laugh and this is where you, come on. See, she thinks that's really funny. Oh, oh. <laughs>